Hey, 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 what is up, everybody? Jeremy here, excited to bring you another Starship build for Starfield. We have the Scorner lined up, another small ship design based and put together with two, like, two previous designs were kind of, like, mixed together to bring to you this one. Super cool, super sweet ship, Class B, um, best weapons. Got You got your suppressors here as well, but let's take a look at the parts. Let's see what we're doing here. Um... Yeah, these parts lined up. So yeah, of course. Just, I have the Excel sheet listed in the description. But yeah, just FYI, if you can see everything there. <laughs> it's like, I have all the details located in the sheet. Like what class level each module is. What level you need to be at. If, what piloting or ship design skill is required. But yes, this bad boy boasts... Um, 100 mobility with 150 speed based on the parts we're using. We are achieving a specific look for this one. So yes, we're not using the 3015 engines for this piece. But hey, you know, it looks cool. It looks cool and 150 is still pretty good in consideration. That, um, and yeah, sometimes I just don't want to be locked into one specific engine. But um, engine look and engine design. But yeah, let's check it out. Let's go ahead and see what we're doing with this bad boy. So here we go. Uh, uh, operations. Okay, so what we do first, we like to just make it visible for everybody to see. So I like to change all the colors. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. First, I like to get the samples of what the colors are. So this is the sample. I want to make sure I'm getting the right colors. All right, there's three different colors on this ship. So I just want to have, I just like to grab these real quick so I can have it in the most recent uh, set of colors. So let me take a look, double check that real quick. Yeah, so I have the, the black, uh, the, what is this? Like the brown, dark brown, and the green. Cool. So that's what I like to do first. And then I select the whole ship. So big tip right here, um, unless you're trying to color an individual part, if you want to just color the whole ship really quick, double click up a, a module and I'll select everything. This is also a great way to find out like which part is not attached. Like if you get the error, like there's a there's a module that's not attached, right? You see this error and you can't figure out where it is, right? Like you just check the message unattached modules. Oh, which one is it? Well, double click, and everything that's connected to each other will be highlighted in red, and you'll see which modules are not connected. So big tip that I I first started building is like. like I had a hard time finding out which module was unattached or not. So that, that's it. Just double click the whole thing and it'll identify all the pieces that are connected. So let's do that. Uh, well, let's color the ship now. So yeah, same thing with coloring the ship. Double click, it'll cl select all the pieces. I'm going to change this into a nice uh, like light gray color so you can see all the module pieces here. And now let's go through the disassemble, 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 disassemble. Let's dis disassemble it. <laughs> dis 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 disassembling process. All right, there we go. Let's just call it that. So, um, which parts do I want to take off first? <laughs> it's like, all right, let's let's go with this guys. Let's go with the top pieces, the top layers. So, it's it like it's trying to highlight multiple things. All right, so there you go. That's the top. All right, then let's take out this side. Maybe I should have done it that way. Okay, maybe I should have done it that way. Alright, we'll just do it like so. And then you'll see we re revealed the glitched hidden item. It's the it's the fuel. And then let's take the back side. Back side off. And then we will take the sides. All these pieces, and you'll see that these pieces are kinda glitched in. Those are kind of glitched. Wait, why did, why did I move it over here? Let's move it over here. Let's move it over here. All right. We'll get the main pieces off first. And then we'll take this top piece, like the top uh, layer. Yeah. Bring it over here. Let's bring it over here. And then we'll take the... Uh, cockpit with the control station and this piece is like I mean, yeah you see where we're gonna start off first all right so we st first start off we're gonna that's time to construct it we disassemble and then we construct it piece by piece 
Um, yeah, so some of these pieces will definitely have to have a specific order in it for for them in order to glitch them in. Because like you see, these like these three pieces are kind of glitched in together to maintain to get that part in. So first off, we got the ship bed 200 landing bay. This is going to be right here. Then I'm going to take the Deimos companion bay one by one, attach that to the back. And since we already have our landing bay and the companion bay is set, let's go ahead and slide under the 100 DP slim docker. Now, of course, you could always choose which hab you like. Um, I just, I don't know, did I choose these randomly? I don't, I don't think I had a specific, like, yeah, I don't have a specific need or want or desire. I just picked Deimos. Deimos control station. So I use this to increase my crew size to six. If you don't care about your crew size, then of course you can choose a different hab you like or different, um, yeah, different hab. Like usually the, like most people would like to pick is the all-in-one berth, but I'd rather go with more crew. So I pick the control station. And of course you could decide which manufacturer, manufacturer you would like to use. And then we connect the Magellan C2 cockpit to the front of this bad boy. There it is. <laughs> it's like, and here's your ship. Okay, no, so no, <laughs> now, um, next part that we went through this process is to actually put in um, this layer. So we're going to top tie in the reactor. This is the 104 DS mag inertial reactor. This is the most demanding um, piece that you'll have in terms of requirements. This is level 60. It requires piloting piloting of three and a ship design level of four. So this is the highest demanding piece here. Then I'm going to slide over the uh, R4000 Alpha, Alpha Grav Drive, Class A, right in front of it. And then I'm going to slide in the Nova Mount in front of it as well. This already has two Vanguard Obliterator Auto Protectors attached to it already. So yes, this is already coming together nicely. Next part that we include here will be the White Dwarf 2030 engine. We lay that to the side. It's going to connect to the Deimos control station. So yeah, it only has one point of connection, which is nice. Which is nice. Lay that to the side. Lay the, take the other side. Put it up. Both sides connected now. Cool. Then I'm going to take in the Nova Cowling. Put that on top. Put the other side over here. Then I'm going to take the top part the White Dwarf 315 engine, lay that, on, lay that on top of the reactor. Then I'm gonna take the um, Nova engine struts, put that on top, so it's connecting to the White Dwarf and the Grav Drive. I'm gonna take the Vanguard Bulwark Shield Generator, lay that on top of the, um, of the White Dwarf. 3015 engine. Now you have an opportunity to glitch this. If you don't like this showing up top, you can put this one on top of the reactor instead and then move this. In. Oh wait, no, I'd rather not. <laughs> it's like, okay, never mind. You have to, you have to use a different glitch trick to lay this one on top. If you really want to, okay, I'll just show you real quick. If you really want to hide the Vanguard Bulwark shield, all right, what you do is you grab uh, more pieces here. So I'll, I'll get the Deimos companion way one and then lay another one on top so this is the drop down drop in glitch all right this is not the flip gl glitch this is the drop in glitch so if you really want to hide that vanguard bulwark shield projector right this is what you do you take this white dwarf 315 place it on top of the companion bay and what you do is just duplicate it all right so it'll naturally like it'll go to the next available spot so here i'll do that again Duplicate it and just hit set. All right, so one is already on top, and you want the next one to go to the bottom. So I see that it's it's legitimate. S set it in. Okay. Then I'm gonna just delete these other items. All right, and place this one back in. So this is, should be this should be set. This should be set. And I've and I've hidden the um, the Vanguard shield. All right, so that's. A method and how you do it. Next parts I'm gonna put in are gonna be the back. We have the Hope Tech Nose B, little bumper on the bottom. I actually put in some cargo here. So this is the 100 ballast shielded cargo hold. So interesting thing on the landing bay, um, landing bay with ship 
builder in your outpost, it only puts in the shielded version of this cargo hold. There is a non-shielded version that you can get at um, at Titan. At the yeah, at Titan. So you can, if you really want, or other places as well. If you want the non-shielded version, I think it would give you more cargo overall. You can't, but I'm just sticking with the items found on the shipbuilder, on the the on the landing pad with shield, shipbuilder. All right, so that's what I'm sticking with. So all these items in this build can be found on the shipbuilder landing pad. With, <laughs> landing pad with shipbuilder. All right, last piece I put in here, Hope Tech pipes. I put them in back. So this is that's the that's the look I decided to go with for the back. Totally up to you. Like these are all. Pretty much visual, with the exception of the cargo. I mean, this is all pretty much, yeah, pretty much visual, aesthetic. Um, so there you go. Next part here, I might as well just go ahead and glitch in this, the fuel. So what I'm going to do here is connect it to the inertial reactor. So I lay, lay it to the side. I flip once, flip twice, and that is your flipping glitch. Your, your flipping glitch. <laughs> we got your flipping glitch here. All right. Now, order of operation for this piece. So, um, what I like to do is grab the back engine or the back landing gear, the point, the pinpoint 3G landing gear, the back piece. I lay that to or attach that to the Demos companion bay, companion way. Take the other side, set it, and then what you have to do here is grab the Nova cowling. And you're glitching this in, though I might need it. I need it. I probably need to take the uh, suppressors off these guys for now. To get the glitch in. So, we got the Nova Cowling. It's going to start with a glitch. Flip once, flip twice, glitch it in. Then you're going to take the Nova Weapon Mount, attach it. All right, that's the order of operation. Okay. For for glitches, for the, any glitches to work, it needs to find a point of connection. Even though it's clipping something, it needs a find a point of connection and you need to put these the Nova cowling in first to like set these in place because what you're gonna do here right check it out check it out if I put this one in first right if I put this one in first it has no point of connection to the um, to the landing bay right this landing bay has connection if I put the pinpoint 3g landing gear in first I will not be able to connect, it, connect this in because it, it can't find a point of connection. Now, if I put this guy in first, check it out, glitch it in, place this Nova weapon mount second, right? So yeah, as you can see, like since now the Nova cowling is in its place, I can't put in the the, the landing gear. So. I'm, you, I'm putting this piece in first so it has a point of connection available so that the, this Nova Cowling will have a point of connection available because it has one, two, three available points of connection. Then I'll put in the landing gear, right? Put in the landing gear, attach that in place. Then I can bring back the Nova Cowling. Now this piece will connect to this floating Nova, Nova weapon mount. Right there, flip once, flip twice, lay it in, and it's set. So that is the order of operation for this specific glitch uh, setup. Okay, so we're gonna take in the other side, Nova Cowling first, flip once, flip twice, lay it in. Take the Nova Weapon Mount, put it on. Pull out Nova Cowling, take the Pinpoint 3G landing gear, stick it in, it already fits. Then take the Nova Cowling, bring it back in, flip once, flip twice, set it all right and there you go so for this design um the nullifier suppressors i just laid in kind of right there all right i put it on the landing gear and still has a pot a spot on the nova cowling so that's how i kind of hit put it in you kind of have this spot available and there, you have tons of places to mount weapons so this is this is one really cool um feature of this design tons of places to mount weapons now, I did play around with some variations. Now, if you really wanted to, all right, if you really wanted to and kind of have to undo a bunch of pieces right here, you can, you can put in some cargo right here. And I think the, 
the cargo that fits, fits this design the most, especially after I color it, will be the Stormax 30 um, cargo hold. I mean, I guess if you change the green a little bit more, it could be the Stormax 50. But I already have a cargo on the back, so I went the Star Max 30 right here. So this is a good, this is a good option. All right, I have to undo all this stuff. Okay, one second. All right, that looks pretty cool. Bring in this, flip once, flip twice, lay it in. Bring in the Nova Calling, flip once, flip twice, lay it in. Same thing on the other side. Flip once, flip twice, lay it in. Nova Calling, flip once, flip twice, lay it in. That looks, that still looks pretty cool. That still looks pretty cool. Nova, and then the suppressors. Yeah, so many places. So I have, I'm, I'd set, I, I decided to attach one to the cockpit on each side. So two to the cockpit, one on each side. And then place the other two on top of the other um, weapon mount on top. And that looks dope. Yeah, 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 yeah. I still have one error. What is it? Attached modules. What I what I mess up? Oh, top. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't like this. Okay, we'll re we'll, we'll set that. I don't want to go through that process. <laughs> I don't want to go. I I think. I think for this glitch to work, I think you need to always have something in place here. Um, versus like, take it off, lay it in, and then yeah. So anyway, we'll, we'll use that drop glitch in another build some other time. But yeah, we'll just lay it on top. It. When you paint it black, it does, you can't see it anyway. So here we go. We're going to start the paint job. I'm going to select all the engines. I'm going to select... Uh, and then select these. Okay, how do I do this? All right, select the engines. Engines only. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Select the back pieces. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna color this the black. There it is. All three, all three color sets to black. Notice here, this is the only thing like um, I felt was odd. It feels like the top. No, uh, that's that's. I guess that's fine. That's fine. Okay, yeah, so I have one error. What is it? An attachment. What am What am I missing now? Oh. Whoops. Wait, what? <laughs> it's okay, so this guy did it look way. Sometimes I just need to reset. Are we good now? We're good, okay, cool. Good, all right. Oop, oop, oop. And oh, I should have done this last. <laughs> oh well, okay, okay, then try to highlight the rest. What I should have done, all right, here we go. Let's do the, the best way to color this in. Let's do the best way to color this in. Click on everything first, double click everything. I am gonna put in the green, color one and color two, and then put in the brown on color three, the dark brown, all right? Then, set that in. Then I'm gonna select everything on back. Something like that, yeah. Oh, I had selected it. Mouse control. All right, there we go. Now I set these guys to black. That's the best way to paint it. <laughs> there we go. That is it. So that is the design. I'm gonna I'm gonna take these guys off. I mean, but I just left it in there so you could see the the difference. I mean, I could have gone with a darker green to make this match the um, the cargo hold, if you choose to use cargo holds. But yeah, at the very base of design, there's no cargo in here. There's no cargo on the sides. But you have that option. I just wanted to show you, like, the design thought. Design thought you could put into it. But yeah, so there it is, everybody. This is your, uh, what do I call this? <laughs> Scorner. <laughs> Here's, this is your scorner ship. Congratulations, here is the scorner. Yeah, yeah, let's take a little look-see, shall we? Let's go ahead and set this in. I confirm, I confirm this as my home ship. There you go, let's take a look. Hello, scorner. Let's check you out, shall we? Let's check you out. 
I'm gonna go into your bay and board you. I am boarding you, Scorner. Boarded. And here we are with... As we load. There we go. Oh, let's try to autosave. All right, here's a companion way. Not the companion me, bay, the companion way. I must confess. Look how like, like look at this. All six people are here. One, two, alive. three, four. The great five, serpent six. Yep. favors me. It's a tight ship. In my path. Stop by for a tin wag, Captain. But yes, of course, with all the build op, like you know the. The levels, all that stuff, you choose what you feel like is best at what you have access, I mean, accessible, that you have access to. Let's get in this, let's get in this bad boy. Let's go ahead and fly it off. Let's take off. Don't you always say, don't listen to rumors? Engine's ready. Waiting on your word, Captain. Hey, hey. Yeah, I mean, I really like how the back looks. I really like how that, how like this, the the oh, engines the and the landing gear have like this like hexagon look. I really like that. So that's one cool feature. That's one cool piece that I like about this design. Ignoring. So yeah, I really, I really like that look. Pretty cool. All right, let's go take it into battle. Let's go to our favorite place to fight, which is Serpentis. Favorite place to fight, also to common chain commandeer a bunch of ships. Maybe I'll put that, make a video for that. But that's, oh, it's so good. All right, here we go. All, what do I have? Okay, okay. So this does have a suppressor. <laughs> a su suppressor, yeah, a suppressor. Look at that hexagon back. So good. Look at that. I mean, I wish there were other Look options to get, like, engines that hit um, 180 speed. But it's okay. I think 150 is still pretty good. 150 overall is pretty good, especially when you get the heavier ships, you only have 140 anyway, so 150 is still pretty good for this picture. Melt it. Melt it. Set you up dock, but I'm not gonna dock you. Man, look at that, man. Melting, melting. Alright, so good. I mean, yeah, this is a class B ship in its current iteration, but of course, you do you based on what your needs. You can make this a class A ship, you can change the uh, engines to what you need it to be, the grav drive, whatever you need to be, even the weapon loadout, but this is the basic design for this ship. Change whatever you need to make it work for you, or go go make it as is. Totally up to you guys. You create. You, you create what you want to create, man. This is your ship. All right. Thank you so much for joining us for this quick little ship building video. Our, another Starfield ship build in the books to be published. Plenty more to go. Here, you know what? Should I, do, should I give a sneak peek on like what I have going on? I mean, right now this character is full of ships. <laughs> this character is full of shit. Um, where is it? Going? Let's go here. Let's go here. Sneak peek, right? Sneak peek time. Sneak peek time. Twenty-five minutes. Yeah, we, got, we can do a little sneaky peeky. What do we have going on here? So. Yeah, so a lot of small ships that we have have we had in here. Um, I have some chonkers lined up. I do want to get in. I have a exploration ship lined up. I, I kind of like like storytelling, like the, the like the the attitude, the character behind the ships. Like this one's going to be an explorer. So try to put that kind of stuff. Like these are just I, the ships that I've mostly shown as of now are fighter ships. These are your fighters, right? They don't really carry that much cargo. They fight in there, but if you, of course, d depending on what you need and for gameplay-wise, if you need to make some adjustments for your gameplay, of course you do that, but 
I designed these guys as fighters. We have the infant. This is my explorer ship that I have like a nice cool little story behind it and how I came up with the design. We have the space frog. So this is your um, this is gonna be your drop ship type of activity that's designed and you can kind of use the ship to be like all game type activities. So class C ship. I kind of I wanted to make it look like there's a frog that's like wearing a, a, a jet pack. The Scourge, this is another fighter ship that I'm probably going to be do, doing another, like the next video will be on the Scourge. So that's what's coming up. The Mesrak, so this is starting going into your um, frigate type ships. Um, still kind of on a low level. You're kind of like low level. You just start, you're starting to have more cargo on here. But um, utility, a lot more utility. Like it has like your workshops in there too. So that's that. Wartail, these are your gunships that I have. Like more of the medium to larger size um, fighters. Let me see what else I got in here. The Stingray, another gunship. So I have like multiple gunships lined up. This one, this one's one of my favorites that I like to go, like that I like to use. The Desert Scarab. So this was the first chonker I made. <laughs> first chonker I made, and um, another dropship type look, a uh, dropship type field, like another type of ship that you can use that you. Throughout the whole game, like it has its cargo, it has your your workshop. It has so this is something you could use throughout the whole whole game if you like to. It could be an end game type ship. Um, what else is there? The halberd, another freak frigate type uh, base ship. So I got your long ships, your chonkers, your drop ships, your explorers. I will have well, I only have one explorer ship design right now. And then I'm gonna also start creating a little series on modifying ships that are given to you. Like, the whole idea that I have behind these ships is that I want to try to keep the spirit, like the general size of it, um, all the same, right? The spirit, the, the, like, and, and just modify it so it's awesome. <laughs> the UC Prison Shuttle, this is like one of my favorite builds. You go out there and you melt ships with this build and just a few modifications to it. Um, different additions of weapons, maybe just change out the, some of the modules. But the whole idea is, I want to keep the spirit, the look, and feel of the original ship and just make it pretty cool. Just make it cool. That's the that's the challenging part, right? So I didn't add any more habs. I mean, I, I did replace the landing gear here. But yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that in another video. But yes, guys, hope you enjoyed. That's what we have some of the, down, some, some of the ships that are coming down the road. Um, and there's also a ton of other ships that are just sitting that I sold to... Uh, to vendors and then as I design it, I say, all right, I'll, I'm going to probably make this video. I mean, or maybe it's like kind of like half baked or something that want to do something else with it. But yeah, excited, excited. Have yourselves an amazing day, guys. See you around. We got more videos coming up, more build videos. Probably have some more tutorials too. Like I want to figure out like how fast can someone build like their landing bay with ship builder right away. Like how fast can you get to that? Because like, that helped me determine, like, should I create low-level ships, at, like, like, based with a six, with a six, uh, level six barrier, like you can only use parts that are level six or less. Maybe by the time you can actually do like more um, serious or more uh, ship building activity, you're maybe already level twelve or fifteen. So maybe that's the starting point. I don't know. I'm gonna figure this out because I want to be able to uh, help absolutely brand new players. To figure out, it's like, all right, I want to do, I want to get more involved in shipbuilding. What will it take? What level do I need to be to get started and doing something that's pretty cool? We'll find out. Thanks for watching, everybody, and thank you so much for all, all your support as always. And of course, I mean, I didn't, I, I forgot to, to put this more in there. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is going to be like, this is a brand new channel for me. I have my finished channel, which has been um, pretty good been uh, super successful during the times of the pandemic but i also love gaming and i also want to share this content with so many people out there like uh and just i don't know yeah if you want to if you if you like this if you like these videos please support we need to get to a thousand <laughs> at some point so we can start monetizing what we can get out of uh out of youtube but other than that guys have yourselves an amazing day we'll see y'all next time peace out and sending out the hearts don't forget to like and subscribe once again Thank you so much for all the love and support. As always, everybody, peace out. See you all soon.